Okay, today is November 1st, 2015. Hope everybody is enjoying the weekend and had a uh, fun Halloween. Uh, before I go to the chart, just want to make an announcement. This is probably the only video that I'm going to post on the month of November. Going to take some time off for a long overdue vacation. So I probably won't be back uh, probably just right after uh, or right before Thanksgiving. So if I don't have a chance to uh, post anything between now and Thanksgiving, let me just put this out first and wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. So anyway, let's uh, go to the uh, chart. Uh, let's start off with the S&P 500. As you can see that we were expecting a little bit of a pullback after a uh, big move on uh, you know, the uh, FMOC announcement day. And the following day, we got a uh, little bit of a, a spinning top type of a doji. And that kind of set up uh, a little bit of a uh, uh, indication that we might be getting some sort of like an evening starlight type of pullback, and which we did on uh, Friday. Okay, so the level that we are looking for on a pullback is somewhere around, you know, at least to come down to test this 2056, and most likely it will come back down to test this 2040 because it just went right to it, and there is some, uh, you know, a uh, uh, pivot point down here near this uh, 2040 here uh, essentially this March uh, 11 close so that's what I'm uh, expecting if it's gonna uh, get a little bit more uh, pullback than just one or two day then we'll probably get the uh, do and uh, come down and, uh, and test this 2040 and if we really get weak then it could come back down to this fed, uh, fed uh, uh, day the uh, back in September uh, you know the uh, intraday high here somewhere around the 2020 okay so those are the level of support that I'm looking at for a near term and then for the uh, upside let's say the market just do a little minor pullback as you can see there's also some Fibonacci retracement here as well based off this uh, swing here off of this double bottom so essentially looking at this 2100 here essentially this is this pivot point up here and possibly the uh, 161, which is uh, near this uh, 2114 against this pivot high here. So those are the upside target for the near term, and the downside target is somewhere around this, you know, 2040 and 2020. Okay, that's for the S&P. And if we look at the spider, the uh, ETF. Okay, so again, we still got this channel going. And if it pull back, I'm gonna leave this channel on. But if it shoot right to and come up to this 21, I mean 211.99, extend to this 212 level, somewhere around the uh, the previous, uh, you know, uh, closing high here back in March. Okay, then uh, then I will take this uh, channel uh, off. Okay, and but uh, right now I'm still looking for this thing to pull back to somewhere around this 207. And the real support zone area is essentially this 204.40. Okay, and also basically filled up this little gap here. And if can't hold that, essentially also come down to test this trend line. Right, this break out of this uh, declining trend line here. So we're going to come down and test this 20, I mean uh, 204.40. And if it failed to hold this 204.40, then I expect it to come down to this 202. Okay, so again, you know, this 202, 80, some 89 area essentially you know uh tagging this uh, fed day september fmoc meeting announcement high okay so those are the level of support and the uh you know and and then the uh target zone is basically somewhere around this 20 uh 212 okay 20 211.99 somewhere around there essentially this one 141 extension somewhere between this pivot high and this pivot high here okay and with the possibility of shooting up to that march uh, closing high as uh 211.99 okay then if we uh take a look at the nasdaq uh the nasdaq 100 you can see the nasdaq came close to uh you know uh, tagging this uh multi-year closing high this closing high is somewhere around 46.79.68 oops and uh, on this day here is 4678.58 so a little bit shy okay right now it's kind of printing uh you know so this kind of like it, it is a little bit of an outside day but i won't make too much of it okay but although you know it does seems like you know if it consolidate here 
around this 46 43 area then we'll probably get a big push up to this uh, you know all-time closing high which is the y2k closing high right that back, uh, made back in March uh, 27 uh, uh, 2000 and I've been saying this all along to some of my follower okay, that why I expect to see the Nasdaq 100 to take out the y2k all-time high before it rolls over Okay, so right now it's getting close to this 4704.73. Now it could pull back and come back down and we test some of these levels somewhere around the 45.62 and also it could uh, come back and fill this gap, essentially come and tag this uh, FMOC, September FMOC meeting intraday high, somewhere around the uh, 44.50. Okay, so the uh, target to watch is these new all time. I mean the Y2K all-time high. You see this all-time high here is actually up at 48.16.35. So there's still quite a way to go. Right? So right now we're basically looking at the first is the closing high of the Y2K. Okay, the dot-com bubble 47.04.73. Now I do expect it to pull back you know, to maybe fill in this gap or possibly test these level here or this gap level here okay before it make it push because it is a little bit extended right now and we could see this uh, pullback and then if we take a look at the Russell 2000 the Russell 2000 is coiling unfortunately it's on a downward coil on this engulfing candle now unless it come back and bounce off this one this 1180 and we'll probably see it come back down and test this 11.39, 11.40 level here, right, before we make a little bit of a bounce. It is sitting at this 38.2, so still within this, inside of this retracement zone. So if we could break through this 11.80 and come up, tag this 1200, right, so maybe you get a bounce off the 50 and then shoot up to the 12.55, then, uh, then it does have a chance to come back and maybe catch up with the other indexes. But right now, essentially, we're looking at this 1180 as resistant. Until it could break through this, then we want to see could attack this FMOC meeting high here with somewhere around 1200. Okay, so this is 1195. So essentially, we'll bring it up to this 1200. That's basically what I'm looking at. And the support is the 1139. If it failed to hold this 1139, again, we'll be actually looking for it to come back down to test this 1104. Okay. So, and looking at the Dow Jones Industrial, the Dow Jones Industrial spoke to this little channel here, this channel here, okay. So again, just like the S&P 500, we saw a little bit of a hangman here setting up to a uh, evening uh, star-like of a pullback, which we got on Friday. So right now, we want to see uh, is there any follow to that bring it back to this uh, channel here. And I expect it to maybe come down and retest this 17,068. Okay, but if it's going to push, it's going to push up you know, to this uh, 161 and somewhere around near the 18,000. And then we'll see if it could it uh, come up and try to tag the uh, previous all time high because it is getting up there. But, you know, once it push up to this uh, 18,000, then we come up and uh, put these pivot back in play. Okay. But if it come down, essentially I'm looking for this 17,068 as a support. There is this 127 extension here that provides some intermediate support somewhere around the uh, 17,386, which is also in confluence with some of these uh, pivot here, okay, on these pivot low. Okay. So, so we're basically looking for these kind of level. I do, I do expect a pullback, and I also uh, sort of uh, uh, expecting uh, some sort of spike up in November as well, but we, uh, 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 you know, not going to just go and s straight up and uh, and try to uh, you know uh, uh, reclaim the uh, the all time high again if it does. Uh, but I do uh, expect to pull back a little bit and then get another one into end of the year, and I am expecting to see a new high uh, or at least a uh, market top somewhere in February. Okay, that's the uh, the scenario that I'm looking at. So whether it's gonna play out or not, that's beside the point. So right now, I'm just kind of watching to see what the market will do. Okay, and then the transportation, 
the transportation kind of pull back to uh, test this uh, uh, you know near this 8,000 level and they got a bounce and try to get back up to the 618 okay on this 8160 okay so we're still you know kind of chopping around within this channel so we're going to see could it could this thing get up above this 8256 and you know essentially try to break away from this pivot high here all right last time it got up to this pivot high kind of encountered some resistance so need to break through this and and work yourself up to this 8566 area you know the upper channel here okay and we probably see that if the uh, market decide to run up you know like the Dow Jones and the S&P run up to its uh, or close to their uh, all-time high so we'll see but if this thing divert and start coming down and try and, and break this trend line here this channel and take out this low then we have to be uh, be very uh, suspicious of any new high uh, from the Dow or the S&P 500 so that's basically a quick recap on the uh, market uh, let's take a look at the stock uh, Apple you know Apple have a nice uh, run last week we we're looking for it to break above that 117 and it did it broke through that 117 and came up above this 119 actually got close to the you know 121 so essentially we're looking we're basically targeting this thing up at this 125 or uh, get into this gap fill area this one's 141 somewhere in the 127 area okay so right now we're seeing apple is uh, pulling back a little bit if the market pull back we we could see it come back down and retest this 117 okay we want to see could it hold this 117 if it could hold this 117 there's a good chance that we we'll see this thing come back up and push through to this 125 right? at least get up to this 125 and possibly tag this uh uh, uh gap fill entry point okay but if can't then we probably will see it uh, work itself back up to this 114 and again the key thing is it has to hold this 106 if it can't hold this 106 it's 105 uh, then we're most likely we're going to see this uh, thing come down and we test this low here and the market will be probably at a uh, uh, little bit of a free fall by then okay so essentially we're looking at uh let's uh, put a little bit of a trend line here okay so we're still kind of trending up this thing so that gets the you know the first level of uh support to watch is this trend line and when it break those trend line i mean this trend line then look for these uh, uh level here within the uh you know some of the pivot pivot point and also the fibonacci retracement in confluence with some of the pivot for uh, potential support so right now we're essentially looking at this 117 right you know if it come down we want to see could it hold this 117 and if it can't hold it 117 we want to see this 114 area here okay all right because there's this trend line down here that i'm looking at all right okay so that's why i get the confluence on that 114 with these pivot as well okay then uh, facebook facebook had a good run and we got a pullback last friday okay so uh so we have to uh, be a little bit aware of that and right now if i put see essentially also the other thing we got we, we had this pullback here from this fibonacci swing it got close to the 618 right so we got this nice little bounce and if we uh, you know take this maybe not to actually retracement and we see that this thing actually tagged or came close to tagging this 161 extension all right so we basically got that 161 move uh essentially pretty close to this 100 percent right if we take a look at this like a flag here all right let me take this out well let me leave i just leave it in so i kind of want to illustrate the point all right so if we take this like major move of this little flag you know if we go to an intraday uh, time frame you probably see that let me see could i uh, get that on there all right so essentially like this right here is the uh the flag that uh, we're talking about right so if we do a little bit of a extension and do a major move of this flag all right so let's uh let me take this out and we're gonna redo that 
Okay, so let's just kind of do a little bit of approximate. Okay, so here's this 100. So it's close to this 161. So if I truncate this because of the uh, price move on the daily, right? So it's very close to this 161 because essentially this thing came down pretty close to 618. If it did, uh, you know, come down to this uh, 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 618, then 100% of that of retracement is one, one six one eight, right? So essentially, bring this up here. So essentially, we got that little bit of a flag move. Okay. Let me go back to the daily, and I'm gonna take this out. So right now, we essentially want to see. I'm gonna take this out. Okay, so if we take this now as a swing, we're going to try this to swing to see what this pullback is going to bring us. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up here. And here 618 will take us down to this 99 level, essentially this high here. Okay, so, so that would be one of the level of support know that we'll keep an eye on which is also in confluence with a 618 here because we do have a pivot high here and that would be the uh, the first level of support that we want to see uh, anyway because that's uh, uh, that was a resistant now turn support right so we want to see it come down to see could it hold this 99 if it could hold this 99 then we then we get this one six you know then we get this 618 retracement bounce okay then we could get up to this 127, essentially to come up to this upper channel, okay? And that would be uh, put at that 109, okay? But uh, even though it break these, uh, this 99, then we also have this 50%, right? This 50% somewhere around this 97, which is also in confluence with the next uh, pivot point, okay? Level here, which is 9709, right? So as long as it's within this retracement zone, and it get a bounce off of that, then uh, 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 there's a good chance that it come up and take out this 100% uh, lo level and trace up to this 127. Okay, so those are the support level and the possible upside target. This channel here, just play this channel along with some of the FIB level. So look for those confluence. Okay, w don't forget we also have this big uh, FIB here which this uh, 141 is also at that 106 okay so and if we take a look at Amazon Amazon continued to move and made a new high but also it printed a shooting star or a gray stone doji or something like that okay so look for a evening star pullback again when we see candle like this or formation like this on a run up the chances are we will most likely encounter some sort of a pullback candle coming down and maybe you know one or two day at least to get that type of pullback to get on back to some sort of support and the support level essentially we're probably looking somewhere around this you know this pivot point here okay and there could be a possibility to come down and retest this support trend line and then maybe get a bounce off of that okay but the key thing is to look for this level here. If we break this level, then most likely you're going to come down here and fill this gap. And we, you know, essentially retest this high here at 578. Okay. So just keep an eye on Amazon. The upside is this 161 is 657. It's also in confluence with this uh, 127. Okay. This uh, bigger uh, uh, Fibonacci uh, swing here. Right. Okay, this big swing here, we got this uh, 127 extension, which is pretty much in confluence with this 161, okay, which is this retracement here. Oops. All right, this retracement here. So you see that it came down, all right, bounced around on this retracement zone, all right, and then it came back up to this 100 and broke through it. So right now, it just kind of got up to this 141. Okay, so we're looking for this thing to pull back. And again, if we want to take a little bit of a Fibonacci swing, assuming this is the top of the swing, and get a little idea of what are some of the possible potential level that we could see a bounce off from, 
So you see this retracement zone is right inside this gap and also under this uh, close to this low here. Okay, so this is 600. Okay, you see this. Let me uh, just kind of blow this up. All right, so this candle low is right here at this near this 500 level. So if it pull back into this retracement zone and get a little bounce off of that, then that would be a plus. But if it uh, come down and fill this gap, then we have to be uh, you know careful, be careful watching this level here to see is it going to go any lower. Okay, so let me take this out. Okay, this is a little bit kind of ugly candle. You see these type of candle here, you know, it's, it kind of give you a warning, right? So we got a little bit of an evening star type of a uh, pullback here, right? So this is uh, like an evening star, not necessarily a textbook, but, you know, like I said before, the psychology is the same, okay? So, and then we got a little, you know, couple day pullback, right? Same here, you can see this, right? Okay, so... That's Amazon. Netflix. Netflix was very interesting for us in the last uh, week or so. Right? We're talking about bouncing off this trend line and also the uh, engulfing candle here, setting up this coil. Okay, so there's a lot of a lot of entry point to play this one. But the key thing was as it as it was moving up, we were basically looking for a break of this uh, engulfing candle high, which is this 103.62. Then when it book that, then we're basically looking for it to come up to this pivot point on the gap entry point, right? This 108, no, 104.88. Once it book through this level, then we're looking for it to tag this this gap field lower level here is this 105.45. Then once we got up that, then we're basically looking at an intraday uh, gap level there somewhere up here, this 109. You know, 109.45, I believe that was the number that we're looking at, 109.43. Okay, something like that there, uh, because I don't have it set up on 60 minute on this chart here. But if I go and take a look at the one minute, right, we're essentially looking at this price level here last Friday. It was a little bit surprising to me that I actually came up and tagged that. Because I was expecting maybe on Monday, but they really ran this thing up. So it's uh, a lot of people that bought the lotto ticket at 108 call probably make some pretty good money. Okay, so congrats to those. Okay, let's go back to the uh, to the daily. Then the other one is Google again. Google also coiling up within this engulfing candle which is a post earning uh, uh, you know candle here so right now it's forming what we call a tweezer top right okay this tweezer top in combination is basically it's like a shooting star okay or a graystone doji right? right so gotta take care of this I might get this wrong but whatever the name is whatever <laughs> okay so uh the the thing is you know it's basically setting up a pullback type of a pattern candle pattern so we're probably expecting a little bit of a pullback coming through uh in the uh next day or so you know in the coming day and wouldn't be surprised to see it to uh, come down and tag this point this level here and possibly come back up and retest this 700 but again you know we got the 712 here Okay, so it could come back in the middle of this gap and get a bounce off of that if it found support at this 712, this pivot high here. But if uh, it can't find support here, then likely it will come down and test this 700 level. Okay, so those are the near term uh, type of number. And if this thing continue to pop and move to, then we're looking at this 127 extension somewhere around 759.87 or basically 760 level here. And then you just kind of see that there is a confluence up here on this, uh, you know, essentially uh, this is a 200% uh, extension. So let's say we got this flag here. Let me take this out. And we put in a, essentially looking at this like a, uh, you know, like a flag. So I'm going to take this uh, Fibonacci extension tool. All right, so we're going to extend this up. So you see 127. 
is 775.90, so it's close to in confluence with this 141. So uh, those are possible number to uh, to keep an eye on is uh, 776. Okay, so I guess the first thing is uh, the 760 if it's the continue to uh, move up and break above this engulfing candle here. So 760 would be the first level and then the 776. Okay, so downside is essentially we're looking at the possible 712, 713, then uh, 700. And then on Twitter, Twitter got uh, got whack on the uh, earning, but then uh, came back up on the post earning day. Uh, right now, it got setting up a little bit of a coil, but again, it's a downward type of a coil. But again, it's still within this retracement zone. If it could sit at this 50 level here, somewhere above this 27, even come down to this uh, 382, if it bounces off of this 27, this would be a good area to look for potential swing long back up here to this 3153. If it break about this 3153, it's a very good chance that it will come up and fill this gap and tag this 34. Okay, so essentially this 141. So keep an eye on the pullback down to this uh, trend line here. Okay, there's down to this trend line or toward the 382. So anywhere close to this 27, we'll look for any kind of a uh, uh, like a pivot, uh, you know, reversal pattern okay, to get in. Uh, maybe take a little bit of a stab and set up a low risk type of a swing long trade. At least play up to this 3150 area here and, and then we'll see how it's going to break uh, into this uh, gap fill level here. Okay, So it might come down and set up a similar type of play that uh, you know we just saw with Netflix. Okay, and then just play a bounce off the, uh, off the uh, rising support trend line. Okay. And then Tesla basically was lock talking about Tesla coming down to test these level. Uh, you see that it uh, you know got a little bounce off here and chop around at this 212, 213. Right now it came back down to this 203, 204. Uh, continue to look for this thing to come down and test this 185. And essentially the uh, the bigger number that we're looking at. Let me go to the weekly here. Oh, don't want 10 year weekly. Okay, let's just go do this. And the uh, the thing that we're looking at is essentially, you know, this uh, possible head and shoulder pattern. Okay, so if we break this 185.70, and essentially it's uh, broken this trend, this neckline, and we are looking at, uh, you know, let's see if I join the neckline here and use the Fibonacci retracement tool. So let's say, okay. All right, so 1618 is extended. So we could be looking at this 115, 116 as a first level. Okay. Let me, so this, these level here, this 117, 118 level here, okay. If it break this 185, we could be looking at a potential target down at this level here. Okay, of course there's going to be some level in between that, that might provide some intermediate support near 158. Okay, and uh, so so those are the levels to keep an eye on. Uh, 185.70. Okay, or close to that. You know, here's this. You know, this pivot low here. Okay. So look for those level for potential breakdown, and let me take this out. Too many lines. Don't need to focus on too many lines. Take it one step at a time. Okay. So 185, 190. We have this uh, Fibonacci retracement also that is uh, being played. Okay, you know this basically this big swing here. So we got a one six one eight six one eight. Okay. Then IBB. Let's go take a look at IBB. 
came up almost tag this trend line, this downward trend line here again. So uh, set up a little bit of a evening star type of pullback. Uh, going to see can it hold this level, this pivot point here, which is somewhere around 323.59. Okay, so if you can't hold this thing, just uh, you know watch this thing come back down to uh, somewhere around this level here, this 316. Okay, so we also got this uh, you know rising trend line here, so kind of forming a little wedge. So we just kind of keep an eye on these uh, you know trace retracement level here. Okay, between these, uh, you know, these, uh, these point here. Let me, uh, right, this area here. Okay. So, uh, go and look at some of the bank stock. We uh, was talking about Goldman Sachs, right? That one ninety one seventy five, and essentially we're looking at the intraday chart, right? Okay, let's go and uh, this is not the chart that I was looking off. Anyway, let's see. We're gonna use this guy here. Mm. Let's do a 90 day, one hour. Okay, so this is trend line that the uh, the channel that we're working off. All right. Okay. And that was the bull flag that we were uh, looking at two weeks ago. Didn't materialize, pulled back. Here's the bounce off this is trend line, this channel. And it came up, got a low tag. And we're shooting at that 191.75. Essentially, that's this pivot high here. And it tagged that uh, last week. And then now it's pulling back. Okay, So we could see a pullback again off of this... Uh, this trend line here so look for this 186 as potential support okay if it's gonna continue to move up then we'd be essentially looking at this level 196 up in that area okay and if we go back to the daily well, let me see can I get that level here okay we could get the level so you got this gap field here okay so that's basically somewhere around this 196 197 right? Then we also have the uh, 127, which is 198. The you know on this particular uh, Fibonacci retracement here. Okay, so uh, the uh, near-term target is 197. Uh, support level probably somewhere down here is this 196 on this trend line here. If you can't hold that, then we're basically looking at come back down to somewhere around this pivot here on this 182.50. Okay. All right, let's see what else uh, do we want to look at here. Oh, okay, let's take a look at Alibaba. We haven't looked at Alibaba for quite a while. Okay, Alibaba came down, right? Found a little bit of a double bottom, came up, got a low flag. It booked through this downward channel. See this low flag? We got this major move here. Okay, All right? See this? I, I already have that on there, I guess was looking at it earlier I guess okay so this is the 80 percent and here's the uh, 100 percent somewhere around these 8533 which is also in confluence with this pivot high here 8517 so look for a little bit more upside and maybe it can bump up here and then we we'll kind of pull back okay so if we do see this thing pull back let's see what that what are some of the potential level that we might be uh, looking for? So let's say the high is here at 85.17 or 85 somewhere. Okay. So and pull back to this low. So the 618 is actually come back down to the 79.54. Right. This pair, these pivot low here. Okay. So that's one possible pullback level. You know, as a support level there. Okay. And if we continue to break through, right? So let me uh, take this out. Okay. So if it break, continue to break through here. Let's use a Fibonacci retracement on this guy here. Okay, this one six one. This is two hundred. Right. But. Let's take a look at this thing here 
on this big uh, retracement of uh, this big swing. So we got 618 up here and 50% uh, is 88. And let me uh, take out some of these things here. It's getting a little bit too cluttered. So I'm just basically doing the analysis right now right in front of you. So, <laughs> so I'm looking at this just as uh, you are looking at it to see where some of the potential level. Right. So we got this uh, 382. So it went to the 382 right now, it's approaching the 50%, uh, which is 8866. Uh, but we got this uh, this resistance here, 8517. So if we break through this 8517, then we're probably looking at the uh, possibility of getting up at this 88, uh, you know, 66, essentially somewhere around these uh, pivot high here, right? Okay. And then the 618 is the 96, so essentially uh, getting back up to uh, this high, right? So some of these uh, level we probably be looking at is uh, you know maybe uh, these these level here, right? On the upside somewhere around 89, and if we get above that, then we're probably looking at this 95, okay? So those are the level that we want to see, and if we pull back, maybe we'll see a uh, little bit of a pull back to this gap fill, and possibly uh, back down at this pivot high here. Okay, so let's see if we have this uh, fib, and let's say this is the high, it won't even get up to that 95. Okay, so so we see the 618. So it's within this retracement zone here. Oops. All right, this retracement zone. So if we pull back, so the 79 pulling back to this, uh, you know, 618, all right, it's close to that 79 as well. Okay, so that's Alibaba. So I guess that's it. So if I don't talk to you folks uh, before the uh, Thanksgiving holiday, Happy Thanksgiving.